Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dr. Jason Jones back with another episode of Health Made Easy. And I think this is going to be the one that you guys have been waiting for. But also, I think you're going to be a bit surprised by the answers that I'm actually going to give you today because we are going to talk about the surprising health benefits of having proper posture. And you may think that keeping proper posture only helps you prevent things like back pain or neck pain, and that's certainly true, Um, but our posture impacts our well-being far more than we think. So when our parents used to scold us, you know, to stand up straight, sit up straight, you know, they were really helping us out in a lot of ways, even though we didn't care to know why during that time. Uh, What is proper or good posture anyway? Basically, Posture refers to the body's positioning and alignment with respect to gravity. Whenever you sit or stand, gravity is always exerting a force on your muscles, joints, and ligaments, and certainly even when you're laying down as well. Um, Good posture is all about distributing the force of that gravity through all the parts of your body so that no one structure is overstressed. And we see this a ton in the office where the posture has been off for so long that certain parts of the body just deteriorate or degenerate that much faster. So there's a lot of health benefits that you stand to gain when it comes to keeping a proper posture. And I do mean keeping because it's not just something that you have or you don't have, you gotta work at it. Um, And so the surprising health benefits of proper posture are number one, it lowers your stress level. Studies conducted at Harvard University found that people with a more powerful or a more proper posture have about a 25% decrease in cortisol levels, those are stress hormones, um, and a 20% increase in testosterone levels. On the other hand, uh, people that slouched in their seats showed about a 15% increase in cortisol levels or stress hormones went up 15% and a 10% decrease in testosterone. So you may be thinking, well, um, I am a woman and I don't want to have an increase in testosterone levels. Well, you may or may not, but also understand that men and women all have estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, and certainly you don't want more than you should have, but you want enough to be able to maintain lean muscle mass because lean muscle mass is what drives our metabolism, helps us burn calories at rest, help us keep our you know our weight in check. So it's extremely important. But the reality is the results of this study show that bad posture can lead to high levels of stress. Not only that, but improper posture can also affect your breathing pattern and causes your heart to strain. But when you keep a proper posture, your heart pumps blood optimally and your stress level is reduced drastically. Number two, it boosts your productivity at work. Just by fixing how you sit, uh, you can get more motivation and power throughout your workday. Your body will always send signals to your brain that you are in the right stance for power, if you will, um, or, or your sweet spot, if you want to call it that. More, more so, um, a proper sitting posture helps you improve your breathing, which in turn allows more oxygen to your brain and thereby improving concentration. It helps boost self-esteem. Studies have shown that when you sit upright and or have an upright posture, it helps boost your confidence and increase your self-esteem. Just take a look at a, fo- a photo of you slouching and compare that with a photo of you standing up straight. You will notice the difference in the way you um, feel about yourself when you look at that photo. Number three, it helps you feel more powerful. Have you ever noticed people who are sitting up straight? How do you feel about them? You tend to see them as being more powerful. It gives you the feeling of control uh, and your decision-making potential is boosted. That's why there is such a thing called a power stance. So if you stand up tall and straight, feet shoulder width apart, feet pointing straight ahead, hands on your hips, like you kind of do the Superman thing where you where you make a fist and you just stick them on your hips and your elbows flare out to the side. Um, they've done studies where they've shown that that actually helps improve confidence. So the fourth and the last one we're going to talk about today is it keeps your body systems 
working optimally. One of the benefits of things like yoga is that it encourages a good posture and prevents your um, can prevent things like intestinal obstruction, um, and which helps you know with better bowel movements, you know, in good form. Um, however, when you slouch, it also can affect those systems as well. So um, one of the secrets and one of the reasons that they have um, you know these um, digestive poses in yoga is because it affects the digestive tract. And maybe you just need to adjust your sitting pattern. Maybe you could take a yoga class. You know, any of those things, um, highly recommend it. Um, It's not going to hurt you to do it. Um, And you can do most of that free online on uh, YouTube. You can check all those kinds of things out. Um, And you certainly can get more support and keep a proper uh, posture and structure by even just going to our Facebook page and checking out some of the videos that we've done on this. And if you have never seen a corrective care chiropractor, it's really a good idea to do that before um, you start to develop symptoms or problems so that you can get your structure checked. And then if there's any issues there, they can walk you through how to go about making those changes. And your health will totally thank you in return for doing that. So again, it's Dr. Jason Jones. Hope this really helped you out. You probably were surprised by some of the answers that I gave today. And I'm glad that you were uh, because that means something new um, just happened for you. And that's exciting. So we'll see you guys on the next podcast. Take care of yourself. Be well out there. Bye-bye.